First on CBS This Morning, a new report out today reveals how some of America's police academies are addressing racial bias in the wake of controversies over shootings and the use of force. 85% of training academies that participated in the government-funded national survey say they have increased implicit bias training for police security since recruits since 2015. Jeff Pegues got a rare look inside a training course with the NYPD, whose first deputy commissioner says there is a race problem U.S. police should address. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. Experts say that implicit bias is something that we all have, and we make unconscious assumptions about people based on how they look. But police often have to make split-second tough decisions on when to use force for a number of reasons. But trying to make sure those decisions aren't just based on race, that starts with training. Police in New York City and across the country have always trained for dealing with physical threats. And now... We take people, we put them into boxes. They are increasingly training to battle cultural ones by taking implicit bias classes to recognize and set aside their prejudices. Do we tend to get cynical based on our experiences if we have negative experiences over and over and over again? We can't train enough. First Deputy Commissioner Benjamin Tucker oversees NYPD training. Officers and recruits are required to attend an eight-hour implicit bias course. When did that become a priority for the NYPD? Mm, a couple of years ago. He says the department increased tactical training after the 2014 death of Eric Garner in an officer's chokehold. Implicit bias training started earlier this year. Do you think that there is a race problem in police departments across the country? Listen, I, is it certainly? I think there's there are issues around race that are palpable in this country. We have not had the kind of conversation we should have around those conversations. Even in police departments, in, especially in police departments. Especially, I, yeah, I think so. No justice, no peace. Protesters have called for policing reforms following a series of high-profile shooting deaths of black men, including Michael Brown in Ferguson. <laughs> Alton Sterling in Baton Rouge. Put your hands up! Please, and this past June, Thurman Blevins in Minneapolis. The addition of implicit bias training was among the recommendations a presidential task force made in 2015. Eighty-five percent of law enforcement training academies that participated in a new survey say they have since increased that training for recruits, while 66 percent added training for existing officers though less than a fourth of all U.S. police academies responded to the survey. You know who you are as a person, and you know what biases you have. Um, we're saying to you, don't bring those biases to work. That's the implicit piece of this. How do you think that message is being received? I think it's being received well. But it's going to take more than classroom training to satisfy Gwen Carr, the mother of Eric Garner. Are you encouraged by what the NYPD is doing? Not really. She says she gets discouraged by continuing reports from across the U.S. of unarmed minorities getting hurt or killed after encounters with police. So do you think this is a, a step in the right direction? It's, it's a step. It's in the right direction. Now we have to see if it works. NYPD officials say the training works for them, along with more tactical training, body cameras, and a focus on non-lethal weapons. The department says its number of police-involved shootings is down. It's good to see they're doing something. I believe most cops really want to do a good job. And I think that's a fair assessment, but everybody agrees training needs to be Kate. done.